All right, guys, Gemini, back with another video. And I thought in this video today, I thought I would discuss exactly what uh, WCW Starcade was. I thought I would discuss what it meant to me. And I thought I would discuss um, what I think of when someone says WCW Starcade to me. Starcade to me will always represent the WCW slash NWA's version of WrestleMania. Starcade to me will always represent the granddaddy of them all. Um, Starcade will always represent to me um, a culmination of a year's hard work, either in the month of November or December, when WCW and the NWA <clears throat> National Wrestling Alliance would put together the biggest and finest professional wrestling event. When somebody brings up Starcade to me, I always immediately we think about the early Starcades, uh, 83, in the uh, Greensboro Coliseum. In 84, the Million Dollar Challenge with uh, Flair and Rhodes, uh, with Joe Frazier as the referee. And Starcade 85, you know, with Ric Flair and Dusty Rhodes, the gathering. I mean, Starcade 86, you know, with um, the scaffold match and Ric Flair and Nikita Koloff, you know, hooking it up. Starcade 87 with Garvin and Flair. Uh, Starcade to me, even though it's been gone for a long time, will always represent the best uh, wrestling action that pretty much you could ever see. Um, Starcade 83, 84, 85 are some of the rarest uh, wrestling videotapes uh, you could ever own. Um, the early Starcades were gritty. You know, they weren't pretty. The ring wasn't pretty. A lot of times a couple matches in that ring would be, you know, filled with wrestlers' blood who were giving their lives and their bodies to the fans and paying the ultimate price. Like, for instance, if you watch Starcade 83 with Harley Race and Ric Flair in the steel cage, um, that mat is covered with blood from the uh, previous matches. It was, it was intense. The early Starcades were intense. I mean, WCW got away from um, the really, really good Starcades in the uh, mid-90s, you know, and then like Starcade 94, you know, the Booty Man and Hogan in the main event will never go down as one of the greatest Starcades of all time. But Starcade was a, uh, it was a special event. It was something that will never be duplicated in professional wrestling. And I'm not talking about the late Starcades you know, 99 and 2000. I'm talking about when Starcade was really good in the uh, mid-80s, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87. I mean, even 88, you know, when Luger and Flair hooked it up. I mean, and then went an hour. You know, I mean, Starcade was special. It was gritty, bloody, old school, wonderful professional wrestling, hard, hard to obtain footage. But as a professional wrestling fan, if you are looking for just old school, violent, uh, hardcore wrestling matches, you know, Starcade is totally the way to go. Um, no one will ever be able to ever tell me, you know, that Starcade wasn't special. You know, I've seen them all, and they were all special. You know, they were WrestleMania before WrestleMania was WrestleMania. I mean, Starcade came out in 83. You know, and then WrestleMania followed in 85. So Starcade was there first before WrestleMania. You know, it it was an awesome time to be a wrestling fan in the early, in the mid-80s, and even in the 90s, you know, when you'd go back and watch Starcades. I mean, it was always special. Um, you look forward to it every year. You knew something was big was going to happen, like Starcade 92, you know, with Masahiro Chono and the Great Muda. You know, Starcade 93, you know, with Flair and Vader. Starcade 95 when Ric Flair won the world title. Starcade 96, you look forward to with Piper and Hogan. Starcade 97, of course, with Sting and Hogan after they built it up for 18 months. I mean, Starcade was uh, legit special. Um, you old school fans, I mean, you know what I'm talking about. Starcade for a while there was better than WrestleMania. WrestleMania brand hadn't really been developed. But for you old school fans, I mean, you know how damn good 
uh, Starcade was with Magnum TA and uh, Tully Blanchard, you know, in a violent I Quit match. Just gory. It looked like something out of a horror movie. But the fans loved it. Everybody loved it. Um, the NWA was cooking, you know, around Starcade 86, Night of the Skywalkers. I mean, NWA was cooking. WCW was cooking. I mean, everything about Starcade, whether the video draws, views, subs, whatever, none of that stuff really matters. All I'm saying is the truth that Starcade was historic, special, wonderful. It's a period of time in wrestling that will never be recreated ever again. You'll never be able to duplicate Starcade if you ever tried. You'll never be able to go back. WWE can try their hardest. They tried with the Great American Bash. You know, they could never rekindle, you know, what the Great American Bash was. They could never rekindle what Starcade was. Even if WWE tried to do Starcade, they couldn't they couldn't match the wrestling level. They couldn't match the intensity. They couldn't match the violence. They couldn't do any of it with the performers they have today. It was a special group of performers back in the day who put Starcade together. I mean real wrestlers like the Briscoe brothers and you know, Jay Youngblood and uh, you know, Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. Um, it was it was good stuff, man. Check check Starcades out on the WWE network. Uh, you guys won't be sorry. Gemini and this is what Starcade means to me. Thank you.